Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon, students. So thank you for your participation during the class and this video. I'm going to summarize uh, the lesson number 3.4, you and your community. So in this uh, lesson, we have discussed a way that you can make a difference in your community. And uh, we have learned that how to use ING forms after verb with adjectives and prepositions, as well as adjective and prepositions. So in the beginning, I asked you a question that give me an example of an occasion that when you have helped someone or when someone has helped you. So there were interesting answers uh, given by you guys. Then we have read uh, this content, the six ways to make a difference. So here, let's see the question number one, read the leaflet, six ways of make a difference. What kind of activities does it mansion and why do these activities make a difference? And so here you can see um, some simple answer that the activities it mentioned are all about the people or the environment. All right. Let's move on to the next page. Question number three, uh, question number two and three is uh, over to you guys as we have uh, done it during the class. I'm going to show you the answers of question number four here, where the verbs, adjectives, and prepositions in the sentence are all followed by the ing form. So choose the suitable verb to complete them. So here we are going to choose a suitable verb uh, to complete uh, these sentences from A to F. You can see here A is having, B is asking, C is coming, D is seeing, E is making and F is growing, all right? Then we had a writing and listening section where we are listening an audio track uh, where the students talking about the six ways to make a difference. So as I asked you the question, but do they use the same words as you did here in question number four? Imagine you are in the group with the students in exercise five, like you were listening in audio to continue the conversation about how you can make a difference. We have already discussed this thing in the details and uh, we have answered these questions. Question number three as well, that do you know anyone who is a volunteer? What do they do? And how would you organize a litter collection? So this is what we have discussed uh, during the class, right? So the writable answers that you have done now, just complete your uh, book with these answers and I'll see you in your next class. Take good care of yourself. Goodbye.